A few semesters ago, I created a simple speech recognition program in MATLAB for a signal processing class, and I wanted to make a quick video going through exactly how I made it. The goal of this uh, project was to look for a keyword, and then once there was a keyword said, <clears throat> then it would look for a command word, and then depending on what the command word was, the program could then execute a command that uh, performed something what the word was related to. So an example of this would be if I said the keyword, which was HAL, if I said HAL, then the program would start looking for what keywords can I say and did I say them. The next, you know, a command word would be light. So if I said HAL and it started looking and then I said light, then the program could toggle the light on or off depending on its current state. Basically what my approach was, was I created a MATLAB program, which I'll go through in a little bit. And what it did was it took in the my voice from the audio off of my microphone and it performed a fast Fourier transform on it and then it uh, found the power spectral density and from the power spectral density it would look at the frequency of the max decibel level of uh, whatever the voice clip was. It would also look at the mean of all the peaks over a certain threshold and the median of all the peaks over a certain threshold. So given this information, the program would then output X, which is the max peak, AV, which is the mean, and MED, which is the median of what I just discussed. Now, I wanted the program to identify certain words, like the keyword and the command words. So I manually sat down and set into the microphone each of these words multiple times, and then logged what values it gave me back on a spreadsheet. So you can see here, like fan, I have the max logged five times, and then I created a range. I did this for every word. Once I got a range, I put these manually into my program with if-else statements to decide if this word was being said or not. So here's a look at the code that actually made all of this happen. Right here, there's a few variables that I initialized. End is just a uh, counter for loops. Light, lock, and fan are command words, and they are toggled on and off. So I wanted to make sure that these are toggled off for now. The first while loop is just a while loop that keeps the program running. The second while loop is the while loop that actually goes ahead and takes the audio with this block and records it in the time domain. Next, it transforms the time domain and the frequency domain with the fast Fourier transform. Then it stabilizes the fast Fourier transform. And after it's stabilized, then this line right here converts it into the power spectral density. Once we have the power spectral density, then the highest peak is found with this command here. <clears throat> and I just want the x value. So this is the frequency of where the highest peak is in the power spectral density. This is my max x. This next piece of code goes ahead and looks for all the peaks over a certain threshold. I put 0.3 decibels. And once we have the peaks found, then there is these two commands, I'm sorry, these two pieces of code that look at the average and the median of the peaks. After the average and median are found, there is an if statement that looks at all the ranges that I set earlier for how. You can see there's the max peak range, the average range, and the median range. If all these conditions are met, then that means that I said HAL. If I said HAL, then N2 equals 1. Basically, that just breaks it out of this while loop looking for HAL. Next, it enters a while loop that looks for a command word. <clears throat> it does the same thing. It gets the audio in the time domain, gets the frequency and the power spectral density, looks for the max peak, it looks for the all the peaks over a certain threshold, and then it gets the average and the median of the peaks. Now there's three if statements. It's looking for fan, and then it will toggle the fan on or off, equal one or zero, depending on what the current state is, and then it'll tell you the fan is off or the fan is on. It then looks for lock, and it does the same thing. It will toggle it. And finally, it looks for light, and it, of course, it toggles it depending if it's on or off. After this, then you can insert code right here that will control an Arduino or computer outputs, whatever you need, and these can actually go ahead and trigger a relay that turns a light or a lock or a fan on or off. After this, the program is just going to repeat, and it's going to keep looking for HAL again. 
Right now the program is looking for a keyword and the keyword is going to bring it into a secondary loop that's going to look for a command that I want it to execute. So first I'll say the keyword and then I'll say the command and you'll see it execute. Hal fan this time I'm going to try it with a different command. The new command is going to be light. Hal. Light. 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 So as you can see, it didn't work perfect every time, but then again, it is a start to a simple speech recognition program. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it can help you in the future. Thanks for watching.